gitu jar besok sih jaginya tuh menyegu kepka sakit tegluwe gitu gluwe sakit tuh menyegu kepka warondeng Kala azar is a deadly disease transmitted by sand flies that make their home in disused termite mounds. Worldwide, it affects as many as 12 million people. And here in Kenya, many of the victims are young boys who get bitten while out herding animals. Until recently, it was frequently a death sentence. But in 2006, the medical charity Médecins Sans Frontières, or MSF, opened a clinic in Kachileba with the sole aim of treating Kala Azar. Dozens are treated here every month. No fever actually doing fine. No big complaints, 14 days into treatment, yeah? Yeah. Okay, the spleen was 15, maybe let's do a check on the spleen. Huh? To Mac. No, no, it's okay. 11. Um, Kalaza is, is basically a disease caused by a parasite, and the parasite basically causes fever and an enlarged spleen and weight loss. If it goes untreated, the fever is going to continue, weight loss is going to continue, patient will, will become more and more anemic, which means uh, loss of red blood cells. They will get weaker and weaker, and eventually they are going to die. Treatment for Kala Azar is a daily injection for 30 days, and the success rate is almost 100%. But too many people continue to die of the disease because they live too far from health clinics or because they simply don't know how to respond to an attack of Kala Azar. Others still defer to traditional healers. We see that quite often. It's uh, marks. Uh, done by traditional healers in, a, in an attempt to reduce the size of the spleen. The spleen is like here, and so uh, over this area they kind of do slight cuts in, a in, a, in an attempt to remove whatever is inside. Yeah. But the key to tackling the disease is testing, and MSF want to see a rapid test replace the standard but dangerous and invasive splenic aspirate test. So, through a network of clinics established in market towns like this, they're compiling the data they need to demonstrate the reliability and efficacy of the rapid test. But even if the rapid test is widely adopted, Kala Azar looks set to remain a neglected disease. It's a neglected disease because drug companies aren't really interested in uh, either developing new drugs or doing research into uh, the most effective way to use the drugs that we've got because it's uh, in marginalised populations uh, in developing countries.